Okay, it is June 9th, 7.25 p.m. And this is going to be the first drive with the FSD beta, which was downloaded two nights ago on uh, Tuesday. And we're gonna give it out, give it a shot. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna head over to the Harris Teeter, which is about two and a half miles away. Uh, there's one stoplight and one possibly left turn to get into it, depending upon the route that the car takes. Uh, but we're going to test it out. As you can see, we got the FSD uh, enhanced uh, visualization on the left-hand side, and we're going to take, give it a shot. Navigate to Harris Teeter. Come to the stoplight, the right blinker turned on, coming to a full stop. There are new cars, it's taking the right hand turn. You see pedestrians out there on the sidewalk. Coming to a, another stop sign, gonna take the first left hand turn. Let's see how this plays out. If it's gonna creep up a little bit, it sees it. It's a Assertive with the turn. All right, let's see how this pans out. We got the uh, car coming in the opposite lane. Also looking to take a right-hand turn, but we were here first. And Tessie recognizes that. He solidly handles that right-hand turn. Right, let's see these cones. So they get out of the way. Gets out of the way. Speed light, speed limit speeds up to 35. Recognizes. We're going up in speed we hit 35 got a, little, got a little sensor to put my hands on the steering wheel we're going 35 but around here we're speeding up just a little bit five miles per hour over so i just hit the dial right right dial Bumped up the speed to 40 to 5 over the current speed limit. Car staying right in the center of the lane. It knows that it's got to take a left hand turn here coming up. So the visualizations on the screen look really good, pretty detailed, actually, very detailed. Picks up that car coming to the intersection. Cars coming in from the opposite traffic. Picks up the pedestrian walking. Recognizes there's a stop Tacoma in front of us at the red stoplight. Left blinkers turned on. Got the green light. All right, it, uh, it, it took too sharp of a turn. So let's see how it does now. All right, we're re-engaged. traffic pattern coming ahead it isn't the most complicated but let's see which lane decides to go in because th this right lane does eventually end probably about 300 yards up ahead so it recognizes that it's going to take a left before the stoplight and it's a short runway 
where there's uh, a left lane that pops up to be able to take that left hand turn. So let's see how it now. I'm going to bump it down to 35 so to give it more time to, to recognize where it needs to go. And so up ahead, we have a new, we have now have a left lane that just emerged. I was a little hesitant to take it, but it took it. There is no traffic up ahead. Let's see how it recognizes the takes left hand turn. There is a little merge island that divides the two way traffic in and out of the parking lot, but it handled that and the visualization is displaying a whole bunch of cars parked in the parking lot let's see how it handles with this car i wonder if it uh will wreck it and it's i'm gonna just get a little a little more juice so we don't block that car trying to pull out and we are here uh let's see Autopilot navigation complete. All right, so I'm gonna take it over. I'm just gonna stop. I just applied the brake a little bit, and uh, yeah, this parking lot's a little bit tricky. There is a lot of traffic coming in and out, so uh, not exactly comfortable letting it just get all funky trying to navigate how to get in and out. So. What I'm going to do now is go right back to the entrance because that seems to be a recognized like waypoint on the map and then from here I'm gonna tell the car to take us back home and we'll see how it does navigate to home see all right so there are there are customers that come in and out of this entrance so hopefully it slows down a little bit put down to 10 actually to five right now just because a lot of people walking around but let's see let's speed it up now there is no middle divider so it was look like it was kind of trying to creep right into the middle of the road but now it recognizes that it needs to stay to the right and let's see how it figures out which lane to go into to turn left and right uh, lanes. Alright, so we're stopping here. This is kind of tricky. If you can kind of see what's going on, there's a lot of uh, traffic coming. There's a intersection less than 200 meters away, and it's creeping. And it took the right turn. Wow. Cameras are picking up the speed limit. Going 35, going with the flow of traffic. Uh, the details on the visualization capture a lot of the uh, a lot of the lane markings. So it's picking up the physical details on the on the ground to understand how to navigate. And it saw these signs up that were right in the median kind of threw it off so I had to just give it a little more gas I'm gonna have to slow down because it's got to take the right lane the right turn lane and it recognize that very very easily I am kind of concerned that it takes some hard right turns let's see how it recognizes this lane all right so the right lane here I'm gonna slow down there's, there's some traffic coming up ahead I'm just gonna slow down because this right lane does merge into the left lane and with cars coming up ahead I don't I don't know how it's gonna handle the merge so let's speed up now there's no cars in the, behind us in the left lane coming up from behind so let's see how it recognizes and 
it it didn't merge until the very end but luckily there was still space but I'm not sure how it, if there was an actual impediment at the end of the left lane if it would have merged over sooner rather than later but here we are it's this might be uh, zero interventions for this engagement Definitely recognizing the the markings on the ground, which is pretty pretty impressive. It's gonna slow down because it knows. Let's see how. Yep, it's gotta get into the left turn lane. It's uh, it recognized it. I'm not sure. If I hadn't slowed it slowed it down on my own with the dial, if it would have recognized in time that I need to get in the left lane, but in this situation it did. The left blinker is turned on automatically, taking a left turn. Wow. There are no middle lane markings on this road. This is two-way, but. It, it needed to keep to the right, and now it's taking the right-hand turn. Recognizes the parked car. It's going a bit too fast for me. All right, that was round trip there and back. Uh, less than four miles, but uh, I think there was only two disengagements, and that's really great for the first first time ever using FSB FSD beta. Signing off. GoPro, turn off. <laughs>